Hi there guys, this is The Average Joe and today I'm going to make a review of um, this uh, Supermax Platinum Blade uh, Platinum Plus Blade, sorry um, This is a blade that I have received in my 120 something uh, blade sample pack which I'm going to put a link here uh, if you want to see what other blades I have received in that uh, sample pack. And um, this is a um, blade. I've already made a review about it. Uh, I made uh, this re review somewhere in January of 2018. And I wanted to remake the review. Now, one thing that struck me from the beginning is the fact that this blade looks different from the blade that I have uh, reviewed last time. Uh, I'm going to insert an image now for you to see how the, that blade looked. Now, okay, you've seen that blade uh, and uh, just take another look at uh, the wrapping on this blade. It looks totally different. But we're going to see um, how this blade performs and if you know why the packaging is different, please leave a comment below. Now. Uh, this blade is made in India by the Vidyut Metallics uh, Limited Company and they are cheap blades, they come for something like 5 cents a blade. Um, from what I remember they are pretty mild blades and uh, I believe I didn't really like them. Uh, all that much last time, but uh, I'm not going to take that into consideration. Uh, for this review, I'm going to use my trusty Ming Shi 2000 razor, and uh, we're going to start on setting number three, just like usual. Come on, focus, focus, that's it. Oh, I also have a review on this. I'm going to put the link here. And uh, as a soap, I'm going to use my Pro Rasso Green Shave Soap, which uh, I also have a review on it. I'm going to put the link here. Now, uh, I'm going to talk more about uh, this blade while I shave. So, um, while I lather up, uh, please give this video a thumbs up and take the time to subscribe to my channel. Now let's leather up. But before I leather up, let's uh, open the blade. Last time it came in a double wrapper, this time is in a single wrapper. As you can see. And on the blade, it says Supermax Platinum Plus. And it says exactly the same thing on the other side. This is a pretty flexible blade. So, um, yeah, we'll see how this uh, goes, but uh, now it's time for me to leather up.
Well guys, as I've told you, I really don't know why this blade looks different from the one I've uh, reviewed last time. Maybe something changed in the production line or something. I really don't know. But if you do know, please tell me. I'm extremely curious. Or maybe this is a packaging um, error. I don't know, but I'm kind of curious to find out. Now, last time I tried this blade, I found it to be pretty mild. And from what I remember, it didn't cut all that well and it still doesn't cut extremely well. Uh, on setting number three, it just barely dragged on my face here. Now I've put it on setting number four to see how it goes. No, it only made it worse. Let's go back to something like two and a half. Just like this, between two and three. Yeah, it definitely feels better on um, way less aggressive uh, setting. I mean, on setting two and a half, it doesn't drag and it feels kind of comfortable. Considering it's on a lower setting, will the shave be just as close as a, a more aggressive setting? Definitely not. This is not going to be a two pass shave and a one pass and some cleaning up. This is going to be a full on two pass shave, I believe. But for a cheap blade, it does do its job pretty well. And uh, it's a uh, on such a mild setting that I can pretty much shave mindlessly without paying too much attention to what I'm doing. So this was the first pass now guys. Uh, I'm going to clean up and start my second pass after that. Well guys, this is definitely not close enough. Uh, I'm going to put the razor back on setting number three. Uh, I know it's uh, it felt uh, like it was dragging on my face, but uh, it is what it is and I want a closer shave. Now, if you're shaving daily, or if you're sh actually not daily, if you're shaving with a very mild razor, and you just want a blade that's going to do the job, you don't have too much expectations from it, and you just 
actually want a very cheap blade. This one feels like it might fill in the spot. But if you want something more than, than just utility, you actually want to fill. I don't know how to say. Like you're grooming yourself. I guess that's the term I'm looking for. Or looking for a challenger, I don't know. If you want something more than just the utility of a shave, I wouldn't go with this one. And one other thing is, even if I've used it on setting number two and a half and setting number three, it kind of leaves a razor burn sensation after it. I mean, okay, on setting number three, it kind of drags. So you can use it on setting number two and a half. It doesn't drag on that setting. But uh, it still leaves a, um, a somewhat of a razor burn sensation on your face. And if you look through my older videos, you're going to see that there are blades from um, Supermax that I really dig, that I really like. And there are products from Supermax that I really like. But this blade... In my opinion, it's not one of the things that I like from Supermax. And I'm still intrigued by the way the wrapper looked. It's definitely not, not what I expected. Okay, on the second pass, my face is not baby smooth. Let me just clean up and talk to you about it after that. Now guys, uh, I'm back. I just threw a splash of um, aftershave on my face and let's uh, talk about this blade. Well, it's not the sharpest blade, it's not the smoothest blade. In my opinion, the only thing that this blade has going on for it is the price. Now, if you are in a very tight financial spot, you can arrange those words as they should be. <laughs> if you're financially in a very tight spot, um, having an extremely cheap blade to shave with might help you. It's just the utility of the blade. Now, in my opinion, there is no pleasure in shaving with this blade. Absolutely no pleasure for me, at least. For just a couple of cents more per blade, a few cents more per blade, let's say seven, eight cents per blade, nine cents per blade, you can get a pretty decent blade. Now, translated to per shave that sh might probably mean something like one cent per shave more and you can get a decent enough blade to not consider it just a utility not to remove the utilitarian um, nature of shaving and also, and to remove this utilitarian nation, uh, notion of shaving and replace it with a more, um, how, with something that's going to give you a little bit of pleasure. 
I mean, I'm cons I consider that no matter how tight of a financial situation you are in, you deserve just that little bit of, um, of indulgence, not much, just a, f a couple of bucks a month and you just probably one buck a month and you can enjoy yourself. Did the blade do the job? Yes, it did, somewhat. I feel some irritation around here, around here. Yes, it doesn't feel too good. Would I recommend you to buy this blade? No, I'm, I'm sorry, I can't, I can't. Even though in my last review I was more uh, open to this blade, no, I'm sorry. This time, no. Now guys, what can I tell you? Thanks for watching, hope you found this useful. Don't forget, give a like to the, to the channel and uh, subscribe. Thanks guys and see you next time.